Scott Geekus joins us right now from the edge of the trading floor there in Chicago. He's with Walls Trading. How is it Chicago wheat is all by itself able to trade a little bit higher today? Any idea on that? Yeah, uh, that could just be due to the spreads narrowing a little bit as well as the export inspections were in a little bit better than what originally was thought. So that definitely led a little bit of a bullish tone to the wheat market. It's still being dragged down by the other grains, though. Okay, a lot of China news today. Sort out what the traders are talking about behind you. Yeah, so I mean, you have all kinds of different things that are in the, in the news lately. You know, you have the crop tour that is completely off for what the USDA reported. It's definitely confirmed by the USDA employees getting threatened by farmers. So that's it's a little bit of a dicey situation there, but no one knows what the true numbers are. But with the yields being estimated being a lower and price going lower, I mean, that's not typically how you see that correlation uh, react in the marketplace. But either way, the market are definitely getting dragged lower, a lot of downside pressure. I don't think there's a low in sight until we get some type of positive news, maybe export inspections or maybe a deal with China or anything in that type of capacity. Otherwise, we just see, see the, the market breaking a little bit lower. We expect the test contract lows. Also, with the weather, with cooler temps, there's a lot of talk about early frost already, even though that we're still in August. So we have to wait and see how this is really going to be playing out. You know, that's, a, that's an excellent point. Did you know that they are talking a chance of frost in the Canadian prairies uh, next week already? I know it's not in the U.S., but boy, that sure does raise a few highbrows. And yet we're taking soybeans down 13 cents today. Just almost seems, uh, seems unbelievable that they can do that. Yeah, right. And that's what, you know, everything is going always back to theory. You know, theory is theory, but the market's never wrong. So with the market continuing to have downside pressure, you know, it's really hard to, you know, catch a falling knife. So until we see some type of consolidation or a little bit of bump up in price, you have to remain bearish in these markets. Do you think that contract low in corn is going to hold or not? Uh, we'll, we have to wait and see. I mean, I don't see that being uh, too big of a support level. We expect to pierce it. We just have to wait and see how that's really going to play out. Okay, we'll come back in a moment and take a look at that livestock trade. Man, we've had some giant losses over there today, and we'll talk about that when we come back. All right, let's uh, return to Chicago and talk more with Scott Geekus. He's with Walsh Trading Incorporated. And, uh, Scott, as we take a look at this livestock trade, there's a few things that work here today, and I don't want to lay the groundwork for this. Live cattle right now, as we take a look at the prices here, sharp losses uh, currently on the live cattle. Let's uh, take a look at October. Right now we're down $2.13. Now we're under $99. We're at $98.97 now. Boy, how far they have fallen. They've dropped $2 off of their uh, earlier high today. Uh, we have December. Down 225 right now at 103.85. On the feeder cattle market, we were probing going limit down there a little bit ago, and now September is back to trading, but it's still down 413. We're at 132.30. October down 395 at 131.53. If you look at the lean hog market, the lean hogs today, uh, we currently have the October now limit down three bucks lower at 59.30. December down 275, and now down 280. At 58.75, that's sitting on the low of the day. Scott, I see the Dow is down 424 points. I see the dollar value is down three to 400 points. Uh, I believe crude oil is down. But uh, you were telling me off the air here that uh, gold is a whole different story today. And what is driving all of this anyway? Yeah, well, there's a lot of uncertainty just across the board. The, uh, the Fed is talking about rate cuts again. Uh, Fed funds are pricing in about a 10 to 15 percent chance of a 50 basis point cut. That change came from zero last night with the Fed speech today. So that's why you're seeing a lot of volatility, a lot of markets moving back and forth. Uh, with all the analysts out there saying that the sky is falling, recessions on the short term coming, you know, you're seeing a lot of moving parts back and forth, a lot of volatility, a lot of speculation. So that's one of the biggest reasons why you're seeing all these big dramatic moves. As far as the live cattle goes, if you want to tie it to the economy with the recession fears, uh, lower demand for beef, if you want to say use that correlation, that's why you're seeing a little bit of a pullback. Plus, with the Kansas plant shutdown, that's also a, one of the reasons why you're seeing a little bit of a weaker beef market. As far as the lean hogs go, it's just a China story. Uh, one thing I do want to note is July imports to China were up about 107% versus July of last year. 
So they're still continuing to buy U.S. pork. They have to do it. However, you're running into record production rates, seeing the, uh, that we're, we're going to be in the fall of this year. So it's it's a double-edged sword. There's really two-sided market. You can make a case for anything right now. But with the markets and the trends that they are in, you're pretty much calling a, catch, trying to catch a falling knife if you're going to go against the trend. And we have noted in recent weeks that some of the key buyers on beef and pork have been um, Hong Kong and Taiwan, a couple Chinese satellites. So uh, it's very curious how that all works out. Well, Scott, thanks for talking with us today. There's a whole lot at work on a Friday as we head toward the weekend, and uh, appreciate the uh, information. Scott Geekus, he's with Walsh Trading in Chicago. So